Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a toggle switch that will turn your Wi-Fi on and off. Currently you'll see it does say Wi-Fi is on and you can notice in the notification bar it has a Wi-Fi icon and it is connected to a network. So if I click this button to turn the Wi-Fi off, you'll notice Wi-Fi has been turned off and we are switching over to cellular data. If I would like to turn Wi-Fi on, I simply click this on button and it'll turn Wi-Fi back on. It may take a second for Wi-Fi to connect to a network. That's why I have this message displaying right here. So you'll see it's just about to connect here, and there we go. We are going to be working with three major files for this video. The first one is in the manifest folder under app. It's called the Android manifest, and basically we're going to add these two lines here. It just gives your application permission to access the change the Wi-Fi state. Next, we're going to go to our XML layout file, which is under resources or res, and then layout, and then bam. So here's what you'll see. I'm using a relative layout, which comes default. I have added a text view and a toggle button. You can type all this out, or you can just go to the design tab and drag on the elements you want, like text view or toggle button. I have made a few changes. I have set the text of the text view to Wi-Fi is currently unavailable. Just in case the app is not work working properly, it'll have this message, and it'll just say that. Most of the time it will work fine, so it won't even show up. I have added an ID to the toggle button, which is Wi-Fi toggle toggle button. You can name that whatever you want. So there we go. All we really need is this ID, so just remember what you named it. Now we can go to our main activity, or mine is called Wi-Fi toggle, which is under my app in Java, the package name, and then Wi-Fi toggle. So we are going to need to declare a few variables. The first one is a Wi-Fi manager. Basically this uh, lets our app communicate with the Wi-Fi in the phone, the Wi-Fi driver. So we're just going to declare Wi-Fi manager and then give it a name of Wi-Fi manager. We're also going to declare our text view mirror this text view right here and we're going to call that uh, Wi-Fi status text view also we're going to declare our toggle button and we're going to call it toggle button the toggle button I'm talking about is this toggle button right here the one that we gave an ID next we're going to go down into our onCreate method and we're going to define a few variables the first one we're going to have is Wi-Fi manager which is the one we created up here we're just giving it a value which is Wi-Fi manager get system service context at Wi-Fi serve basically it's just connecting the manager of Wi-Fi to the system Wi-Fi next we're going to do the Wi-Fi status uh, text view which is remember this text view right here which we initialize up here and we're setting that equal to a, a text view and we're finding which text view we're talking about so we're going to this Wi-Fi status text view I realize now that I said earlier you don't really need an ID on this one on this text view but we do I just called it Wi-Fi status text view to make it rememberable you can name it whatever you want though and then we're gonna need one more def definition and that will be toggle button and that's gonna be equal to a toggle button and we're gonna find the view by uh, the toggle button ID from this one right here next we're gonna need to check the Wi-Fi state basically when we first launch your app it'll check to see if Wi-Fi is actually on or not and then depending on whether it is on or not it'll set our toggle button to either uh, on or off. We're going to do if if this Wi-Fi manager is enabled it'll set the text view of this text that we created right here to uh, Wi-Fi is on and then it'll also set our toggle button to on. If it is not enabled as you can see here we will set the text view to off and then we'll set the toggle buttons text to off now lastly we're going to need to add a listener here this is what's actually going to make our button do something we're going to add a set on checked change listener to the toggle button and we're going to make a new compound button check change listener right below that we're going to make a method and we're going to call it public void on check change we're going to have two parameters one being compound button and one being a boolean so if the toggle button is checked, we will set the Wi-Fi to be enabled, and we'll also set the text view to be on, and we'll include this little message here, this little toast message that'll just tell the user that, which is just to tell the user that you have turned Wi-Fi on, however it might take a second before it shows it's been connected in the status bar. Although if uh, the toggle button is not checked, we have other parameters, which are we're going to set the Wi-Fi to not be enabled, and then we're going to use our text view to tell the user the Wi-Fi is currently off. And we're just going to close it out with all our brackets here, and there we go. So we go ahead and run it. You'll see it's working just as we created it. So hopefully in this video you have learned how to use toggle switches, and you've learned how to use Wi-Fi Manager to turn Wi-Fi on and off. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or send me an email. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.